up, you guys? It's Susie Bullock from HeyGrillHey.com, and today we are bringing you a dinner recipe that's gonna be ready in about six minutes from the time it hits the grill. We're making a super simple and delicious grilled scallops recipe with a lemon herb dressing. My mouth's already watering, so let's do it. First things first, we're gonna make our lemon herb dressing because like I said, these scallops cook wicked fast. So we wanna have our dressing ready to go so it's easy to just top the scallops with when they come off the grill. We're gonna start with two tablespoons of olive oil. To that, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of fresh minced Italian parsley. You can actually use whatever kind of bright, fresh herb you like here, but I like parsley because it doesn't overwhelm the flavor of the scallops, just gives it a nice, bright, fresh, earthy flavor. Also gonna add in a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a half a teaspoon of fresh cracked black pepper. Finally, the zest and the juice of one lemon. Give that a quick stir. You have like a one and a half minute dressing. <laughs> That's ready to go. Set that aside. It'll be ready to use when our scallops come off the grill. I'm also gonna cut my second lemon in half here because I'm gonna grill it alongside my scallops for serving later. Now on to the scallops. I've got my gas grill preheated for high heat direct grilling, 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and we've gotta prep our scallops. Now, high heat cooking, loves dry meat so that we can get a nice crunchy sear on the outside. So we wanna pat about a pound of jumbo sea scallops, nice and dry with paper towels. I'm just gonna season the tops of my scallops with kosher salt and fresh cracked black pepper. Perfect. Now right before I put my scallops on the grill, I wanna take a paper towel, fold it into quarters, and soak it in a little bit of avocado oil. Avocado oil is a great high heat cooking oil, so it'll give us some nice sear marks on our scallops, and it'll help them not stick to the grill. We're just gonna take our soaked paper towel and run it along the grill grates. Now our scallops are just gonna go season side down right onto our oiled grill grates. Oh, that was a good sizzle. Close the lid. Let these cook for just the next couple of minutes. Typically jumbo scallops take three to four minutes. Some of these are a little bit tiny, so I'm gonna check them in two and they should be ready to flip. Like I said, these only take five to six minutes total to cook, so stay close. Oh, I almost forgot pop our lemons on too. <laughs> Scallops have been on for a couple minutes. Let's give them a quick flip. Now I do recommend using a thin metal spatula instead of tongs to flip these. It'll allow you to get under there so our scallops don't stick to the grill. They're looking beautiful. Close the lid again, probably for about two to three more minutes. We're gonna check the internal temperature for doneness. We're looking for internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. I just checked my scallops after two more minutes. Some of these smaller ones are done, so they're gonna go ahead and come off. And we'll wait for the bigger ones to finish. They're so cute. <laughs> okay, you guys, about two minutes to make this dressing, about six minutes with these scallops on the grill. We're ready to go. Just drizzle that lemon herb dressing right over your scallops. 
The olive oil is gonna help add some much needed fat to these scallops that are super lean. The herbs and the lemon are gonna brighten it up. And then we're gonna get a little bit of punch from those red pepper flakes and the cracked black pepper in here. Mm. Now these are amazing on their own, or you could serve them over a little bit of pasta. Squeeze of this roasted lemon. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Mm. Those taste very decadent. The scallop itself is very fresh, it's very sweet. You get the brightness of the lemon, fresh pop from the herbs, and then you get some nice crispy edges from the char on the grill. These are going to be a dinner party staple. I hope you guys love them as much as I do. When you cook these, snap a photo, post them online, use the hashtag HeyGrillHey. That way I can see it and cheer you on on your journey to becoming a backyard barbecue hero. Catch you guys next time.